Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, a couple of videos we did this huge text that sort of scrolls in like that as we go down the page. And one of them we created was a text mask. There it is right there. Nice little feature to have on your site. Really eye-catching. Today, I've got another page open here. If I roll down the page, you'll see a little image pop up. And there it is, that crazy car. When it gets about halfway up the page, it's going to turn into a text mask and stay there till the top. And again, another really eye-catching feature, no coding involved in this today at all. And it'll work perfectly on tablet and mobile. If we check it out, I'm going to hit my F12 key. Here we are on the iPhone, if I roll down. There's that image. As it rolls up the page, it's going to pop into a text mask. And let's have a look on an iPad, perhaps. I'll roll it back down. As we roll up, there's the image of that crazy car. As it rolls up, it's going to morph into that text mask right there. And again, really eye-catching. Like I say, really easy to do. No coding involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Once it's enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. It's right here. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside, I've got a row, the green tab. And inside that, I've got a text module. So let's get rid of the row. So we're left with an empty section right here. I'm going to hit the green button to add a new row. I'm going to use a single column for my row. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to add a little text module. Put in what you want your text mask to say here, obviously. I'm just going to say text mask. As you can see, it's right there. I'm going to make mine into a heading by selecting it where it says paragraph up there, left click. I guess I'll make it a heading too. Now we can go over to the design for this text by clicking on the little pencil. It takes us straight to the H2 heading text right here. I'm going to use a different font. I'll use the same font as I used with the other one, which was Oswald. With Divi, if you want to change fonts, just click on where it says the default there. It's got a huge amount of fonts to audition one. Just roll over it. It'll give you an example. I've got mine selected already, Oswald. With mask text, I tend to think it looks better with blocky tall text. And Oswald sort of works for me for that. I'm going to make it as bold as it will go. I'm going to capitalize it. I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm going to make it a lot bigger. I think I used 400 for my last one. So just put in the 400. It'll put in the pixels for you. Obviously make yours as big or as small as you want. Now I kind of want this all on one line. And the reason it's breaking into two there is our row actually ends right here. So let's make our row full width. And we should be able to make this into a single line on desktop. So we're going to go into the green tab for the row. I'm going to go over to design. Sizing. Width right there. We can slide it up to 100. Copy it. Control C. Paste it in the max width down below. Control V to paste. And we've got a full width row right there. And our text is fitting nicely across it. And you can type that in if you don't want to copy and paste it. Now while we're in the row, let's put the image behind that we actually want on it. So let's go back over to our content. And we're going to go into the column itself. And it's important you go into the column itself and not the background of the row. So we're inside the column within the row. Background, again, always under content. Third tab along is our images. You can put in a gradient or a video if you'd like to. So I'm going to click on the image for mine. I'm going to add an image. I'm going to use this crazy car last time. That's great, but it's not really what I want. What, what I want is just to see this image as it rolls up the page till about here. And then it wants to be a text mask when it gets above about 50% of the page. So let's firstly make it into a text mask. To do that, let's save our column settings. Take us back to the row. We'll save our row settings. Let's go back into our module here. and We'll give it a white background so it's going to cover up that image. Dark tab for the text module. You know where background is, always under content. I'm just going to put a white on top. Now we've lost our image there, but let's bring it back behind our text. OK, 
couldn't be easier, no coding involved. While we're still in our text module here, let's go over to design, roll on down to filters at the bottom. Right at the bottom, we've got a blend mode and you can do some crazy things with this, you really can. Uh, I'm gonna use screen so it turns it into a text mask. As you can see, we've got our little car picture behind there now. But they've got all kind of different ones. For instance, different gives you crazy effects like this and overlay. You can get some amazing effects going on. But that's not what I want today. I want mine to be screen, so it's just visible behind the text. So we've got a text mask there. Perfect. Okay, well, let's fix it. So we've got an image when it scrolls into view like this. Then when it gets about here, it's going to change into that text mask. Really nice little eye-catching feature still in the text module we can go over to our advanced and we've got scroll effects down the bottom i'm going to use a fade in and out for mine i'm going to hit the yes we've got a little timeline here viewport bottom is the bottom of the screen viewport top funnily enough is the top of the screen and we can do what we want in between we can make starting opacity is invisible zero we roll down a little bit, you'll see that that kind of fades out. But I want it to be completely invisible at the bottom there until it gets up at least to about 40%. So I'm going to drag the bottom up to about 40. As you can see, that's perfectly visible image now. When it gets up to 40, that's going to fade in. I want it to stay faded in fully all the way up to the top. And we've almost achieved that. I might move this up to 50, or sorry, up to 60, I should say. And we'll move this one up to 50. Now let's see what we've got. We've got our image right there. They can see a nice full picture of the image. Rolling up, they've got that. And that's exactly what I wanted. It's morphing from the image into a text mask, just like that. If you wanted to, you could add a parallax effect to that image in the background there. But for my car, I don't think it's going to work very well because that'll be off screen. But we want to make sure this is going to work on tablet and mobile too. So still in the text setting, let's go to our design. We'll go to our heading text. Remember, it was an H2 that I made that into. And let's check it on tablet and mobile. Let's get it up here so it's the mask. I'm going to go down to the actual text size here. Common to all Divi modules, if you roll over, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little mobile phone icon, we can click on it. And it'll give us three tabs, desktop, tablet, and phone. And we can have completely different values for each of these. So let's have a look on tablet. Yeah, and it's, it's too big. It's broken it down. Text fits, but mask doesn't. So let's take it down to maybe 300 and see what happens. That's fine. So we've got our image and it scrolls up. It's got the text mask and two legible words right there. And of course you can link this module anywhere under content if you want to. So if they click on it, you can take it to the sales page for that crazy car or whatever. Well, let's go back there and we'll check it on mobile. Back down to our heading size on mobile. Again, it looks like something you see at the opticians. Please read this for me. Let's take it down. I think 100 will be too small. Yeah, I kind of like to see a bit bigger than that. Let's try 100, and, try 150 maybe. I think that's going to work. We've got our image down the bottom when they scroll down. Boom, we've got the text mask. Fantastic. And although these are great, when you've got your site live, you really want to check them on tablet, a real tablet and a real mobile phone, because this will get you close, but you may, may need to tweak it a little bit. So if we've done everything correctly now, this should work for us. Let's save our changes here. We'll hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Let's exit the visual builder. Here's those crazy color changing frames we did in the last video. And if we roll down, there's our beautiful car. And if we roll down a little bit more, it's going to turn into a text mask and stay there all the way up the rest of the screen. Coming back down, it's going to do the opposite, obviously. 
But that's a really nice little feature. Things like that happen when people are scrolling down your site. It'll get their eyeballs on it pretty quickly, which is exactly what you want. So there you go, guys. There is how to create a text mask over a nice little image and have it appear and disappear on a scroll effect like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.